This is the face recognition treasure chest. And this is a box that locks and unlocks itself using face recognition. So when you look at the box, if you're the right person, it'll unlock itself and you can get inside of it. And you can see right now it's actually locked. So I can't open this. There's a latch that's holding it shut. And you can see on the top here, there's a little camera that's sticking out. And so that's what it uses to take pictures of uh, the person's face that's looking at it. And there's a button on the side here that when I press the button, it'll take a picture, run the face recognition algorithms, and see if the person looking at the box is the person that's allowed to unlock it. So I'll tilt it up and have it look at my face. And I press the button and it just captured an image. And you might have heard a little servo that moved the latch out of position. So now the box is actually opened. And you can see it unlocked itself. And you can see inside of the box. And what's holding it shut is just a real simple servo mechanism. Uh, this is a real simple latch that comes down and just catches on a dowel down there. And so the servo can move that latch into a locked and unlocked position. And that's what keeps the box shut or allows you to open it. Uh, and then behind that wooden panel, there's just a simple frame that's holding a uh, Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi is reading images from the camera on the top here. That's just the Raspberry Pi camera. And you can see the Raspberry Pi just kind of hidden, tucked back there. And so when you press the switch over here on the left, it will take a picture with the camera and then using the OpenCV computer vision library, run face recognition uh, algorithms to see if the user that's looking at the box is the one that's allowed to open it. And this is just using the face recognition algorithms that are built into OpenCV. Uh, a recent version of OpenCV has a couple different algorithms. Um, this one's using an eigenface algorithm uh, that uses principal component analysis to take a very complex face image and break it down into a set of simpler components that it can compare against a set of training data. And so the way this works is you run a training program to take pictures of the face that you want to allow to unlock the box. And then there's a set of negative images, uh, which are basically people that aren't allowed to open the box, or just examples of people that uh, aren't the person that's allowed to open it. And the training will run and process all of the positive and negative images to produce a model that helps it do the facial, re facial recognition. And you can see if I close this again and I press the button, it'll lock itself so you can't open it. And then one more time, if I point it at myself, and it should unlock it. Yep. There you go. Here are a few more details on what's happening with the software. So like I mentioned before, there's a face recognition algorithm that's trained with a set of positive and negative images. And what happens when I press the button is the hardware will take a picture with the camera and use face detection to figure out if there are any faces inside of the image that it saw. And if it sees a face, it will crop to just that face and run a face recognition algorithm to try and figure out if that face is the face of a user that's allowed to open the box or not. And every time I press the button and take a picture, the hardware actually saves that image as just a debug kind of output. So you can see here's the image that I took uh, when I was opening the box. And you can see my face here. So the algorithm will run, the face detection will find my face here and grab this rectangle of an image and run it through the facial, facial recognition algorithm. And you can see the training data that I used. So positive images are images of people that are allowed to open the box and negative images are people that aren't allowed to open the box. So the positive images, these are just images that I captured earlier with the uh, capture images script that's included. And these are just different views of my face. So there's about five images with different expressions, different angles, just to give the algorithm more input on what my face looks like. And so what OpenCV will do is it will use principal component analysis to take all of those images and summarize them as uh, a simple set of uh, values that define the important parts of my face. And the negative images also I can show you. This comes from a database that AT&T published uh, about 15 or so years ago. 
Um, and this just has 400 users or 400 um, images of faces inside of it of just various people. Um, I think these are probably engineers that worked at AT&T. So you can see some examples. And this just, again, gives the algorithm more training data. In this case, images of faces that aren't allowed to open the box. So it helps build up a, an understanding of what someone looks like that can open the box and that can't open the box. And like I mentioned, um, it summarizes all of those images um, using uh, different face recognition algorithms. You can find more details about these on OpenCV's website. Uh, they actually have a really good tutorial here on how they do facial recognition. And there are a couple different algorithms that you can use. I'm using the Eigenfaces algorithm, and it goes into more detail here about how the, uh, that algorithm works. And I can also show you the training. It outputs the actual Eigenface images. So these are the images that summarize the training data. So this is the positive image, and so this is summarizing those five images of my face and just trying to show what are the actual important parts of a face to help recognize me. And then the negative image is just summarizing all of those negative images uh, to figure out what the face of someone who doesn't look like me might look like. So that's the project here. Uh, it uses a Raspberry Pi with the Pi camera to take pictures and then the OpenCV library to run facial recognition and move a little servo arm to lock and unlock the box.